let's go ahead and get started because I am anxious to do this. I am so anxious to do this. So let's um, let's go with the first tutorial. All right. Stretch it in. All right. Layout inside studio. Wow, that control plus makes everything massive quick. Uh, this application has no chill. Let me see. Yeah, it literally goes from 100 to 200. <laughs> that was throwing me off a little bit. So I had to get used to that a little bit. You either zoom in all the way in or zoom in all the way out. All right, layout inside studio. In studio's layout engine, you can control how layers resize simply by setting percentage base values and pinning elements. So that's cool. All right, select the header layer in the inspector panel on the right. Cool. Right click the width and change it from pixels to 100%. Oh, nice. Now this is what I talked about in my video uh, before you can see on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash UX design show. These are huge. Anytime you work with another application, uh, the font size is usually the same as the title. Um, I love the fact that this application, the, the, the selections, uh, the input fields are, are way bigger than the actual titles themselves. So that's awesome. So let's follow our instructions and change that to 100%. Oh, nice. So it doesn't just take text. You can actually put symbols in there. You set it to 100% and boom, that's what happened. All right, right click with width change, change 100%, uh-huh. Boom, yeah, same thing I just said. I wasn't reading that. The width of that layer is, is, is percentage based. So that's nice. So now I guess I'm gonna break ranks here. Okay, I don't know if they really talk to anything. Let me stop. All right. Select the circle layer. Okay. In the inspector panel on the right, choose these settings. Oh, I kind of see where this is going. So over here you have, um, oh, the ability to set things. Oh, let me see. In the inspector panel on the right, choose these settings. That layer is now pinned to the center of the artboard. So let's select this one. Uh huh. Gotcha. Okay. So now, basically, from the top of the circle to the center of the circle, that's where it's going to stay, no matter what happens. Okay. That layer is now pinned to the center of the artboard. All right, cool. All right. Step two resize your artboard. Now that you set a percentage based value and pin a layer, they'll act accordingly when you resize the artboard. Give it a try. Okay. So. So this is our artboard. Dope. So this is a lot like what we were seeing on the commercials where people were just able to like grab the edge of the artboard and move that bad boy around. So as you can see, with the small tutorial, we was able to pin it, pin the circle here to the center. And then we also made this 100%. And now as we edit this artboard and slide it around and do whatever we want to it, it actually stays. And I like that, it actually doesn't, it has like a little bounce when you bring it over. Ooh, okay, that's nice. All right, bring it back, bring it back. All right, that's good. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I mean that's that's neat. That's that's awesome. So let's do some other explorer real quick. All right. Um, how do we do fills in this application? All right. So now that we get a chance to really play with this, I have the circle here selected. I'm gonna zoom in real quick. All right. So I have the circle here selected, and just so you know, you can't see my hands on the keyboard. But uh, I, I'm able to use the space bar to get my hand tool the same way you're able to do with Photoshop. Um, here we can change colors. I think this is really neat. You can actually change the RBG 
the RGB, oh my God, the RGB in this application, you can actually control it to that um, and be that specific. You can also switch that. You can put it in a hex if you want to. And it looks like right here, you can actually save favorite colors. So all your favorite colors can be saved here and you can see them as a grid or you can see them in a list. So that's really cool. No scroll bars on that list, but you can just use your mouse and you can just scroll that. So that's really neat. Uh, another thing, if you notice right here, clearly this is the gradient tool. So basically you have colors, then you have gradients. So you hit that gradient and now you're able to look at it through the RGB uh, version of that gradient. You can make changes to it here. And it looks like this is a, yes, yeah, regular gradient. Okay. So you can really play with that if you want to. All right, and that lets you uh, drag that so you can intensify that gradient however you like. That's really cool. So you can really play with that and get uh, have a lot of fun with that. So we're gonna just put it back the way it was. I'm gonna just choose one of these blues, I don't remember. Actually, I think that's the one. So that's good. All right, so that's nice. And then also too, right here, you have your opacity just set up right here. Uh, one of the things I like is that this, this menu is a nice size. This is very well done, it's very stylized. And I like the fact that it is contextual, uh, meaning that anytime you're doing something, that's the only time you get those options. Very much like Axure, um, Adobe XD works the exact same way. And it's really cool that you can actually do this like this. This is this is nice. All right. It's a circle. We're not going to rotate it. All right. That's cool. So let's do the next tutorial here.